go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellow since you get 18% off. We out. All right, apparently Wilder and Tyson Fury agreed to some things. Let's kind of pull up their article. But the fight day could get pushed back. Also seeing that this morning. So I do appreciate everybody for tapping in. Check out the heavyweight boxing playlist. I ain't missed the boxing today, but I try to do a little bit of something heavyweight. Make sure you share the video. You know, you want to make a donation, thumbs up the video. Share the video for your boy, please. But, um, see if I can find an article. All right, Wilder. Aaron, my Wilder Fury 3. We're finishing paperwork up for July 24th. Hopefully done today. That's what he said. Says we're finished on boxing scene. We're finishing up paperwork. Aaron said after the press conference to promote the Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor fight scheduled for Saturday night. Tonight or tomorrow night, July 24th is the working date. Hopefully we can get it done today. All of, all the terms are spelled out in the old rematch clause that we had an original two fight deal. There was very little work to do, almost nothing. It was a two-page document. Um, he said Aaron figures Fury will stop Wilder. Quote, we, will it be any different from the last fight? Aaron said, who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. What am I going to say? Based on the last fight, it should be relatively easy for Fury. But, you know, boxing, particularly with the heavyweights, this next fight can turn out different. And um, it could. You know, then I saw this morning. I saw this morning. Hold on, man. Tina Trump got her titties on Facebook. <laughs> and I was looking. But, um, let's go to Coventry page. Shout out to Coppender. Sweet boy. Uh, um, Jesus, Jesus. It says that, um,. One source being considered for the trilogy heavyweight title fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, August 14th. Bob Ramon told Mark Regal the other day, top rank was looking for July 24th. So they said it's two different dates for the fight. Um, as I reported yesterday, August 24th, 28th are two days being explored for Joshua Usyk. Um, so, uh, so right now, it's sounds like they can fight on the August 14th as well, too. In the Vegas Red Stadium. Um... I mean, obviously, that's a, you know, it's cool. Give me a little bit more time to stack the money up if I want to go. Um, but, like I said like I said before, um, all the other terms and the rematch had already been agreed to. Uh, you know, Wilder gave Fury 50-50 the last two fights. The contract where the winner gets 60-40 for the trilogy. So, pretty much everything in place. Wilder really took a bad deal. There's no way you should, you should pay an opponent the same as you. But then again, you got other PBC fighters crying about crossing the street and paying guys. 50-50, so to a certain extent, well, Wilder, a real one, and he getting this shot, and really, his fans banking on Tyson Fury cheating. They banking on him cleaning up some deficiencies in one camp. You know, maybe he came off an of elbow or, or arm surgery, whatever it was. So it's going to take a lot of stuff different, but, you know, I think this might be the first, th first fight in the Vegas Stadium because of the pandemic. So, you know, what a way to come and, and blast out Tyson Fury while christening or blessing the uh, blessing Elijah Stadium, whatever it's called, you know, blessing that as a fight. And I think, I think it's gonna be a spectacle. I think a lot of people are gonna come. I don't think I hope they don't run the prices up. I mean, hundred for a nosebleed wouldn't be bad, you know, considering like it's like uh, it's like four or five hundred for a nosebleed for the, for the uh, Joshua Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez fight. But yeah, you know, they agreed, and if it's July twenty fourth or August fourteenth, it is what it is. I think more time it suits Wilder. You know, the more time he can continue to work on his craft. And Tyson Fury ain't got to do nothing. Because he's shown the ability to fight both ways. He's shown to come forward and box. He started to come forward and be aggressive. He showed the inside fight. He showed in the first fight he could stick and move. So all he got to do is just sharpen his skills. The game plan doesn't change. It, it, it may have some adjustments in it. He may be losing more hook right hands. It may be more, more body punches, more jabs to the body. It may be makes a little bit of movement in with aggressive. A step over, you know what I'm saying? Take a, you know. So, like I said, he was a he was the one heavyweight today that had Wilder number, straight up and down, you know. And you know, not when now he fighting, you know, being aggressive. People say how you, how you, how you get power overnight. It wasn't about him getting power overnight. 
he got with a coach that can show him how to sit on his shots. And that's what Kronk is about. And people want to scream, he cheated, he cheated. They can scream that all they want to. But ultimately, um, ultimately, you know, that's a man that had a 50-pound advantage. That's a man that sat on his shots. And Wilder got to make the adjustment. Can Wilder make the adjustment? I don't think so. It got to be something more than the right hand. It got to be hook right hand. It got to be double hook to the body. A hook to the body, hook to the head, double hook. It got to be jab to the body. You know, his footwork is terrible. His leg's not strong. If he do win, I'll be happy. But I just, I, I, I can see him winning. If Tyson Fury cheated and, you know, he not taking the stuff that he took, allegedly, or, or you know, you know, the gloves, whatever. If he cheated and he, he loses, everybody's going to, it's not going to be because Deontay Wilder won. It's because Tyson Fury cheated. The first fight, and Wilder should have won the first two fights. And I'm fine with that. I'm 100% fine with that with that outcome. I'm fine. With, I'm fine with people saying that. And if Fury cheated, he need he need to be reprimanded. He need to be in trouble. He need to get knocked out. But ultimately, you know, um, Tyson Fury is a big fella. Tyson Fury is still learning. And I talked to his trainer. He said he never had a real trainer before before Ben Davidson. Now he's showing him how to do things, and he's gonna be scary. And ultimately, this give a chance for Fury and Anthony Joshua if they both win the next fight. Joshua versus uh, Usyk and. Obviously, Fury versus Wilder. Give him an opportunity to fight in the UK. You know, get him an opportunity to fight, you know, you know, wherever they want to fight at. And the UK fans show up. So, I think it might be a blessing in disguise. But, ultimately, people think they won't get past their next fight. Ultimately, people, you know, people think, um, people think that um, it won't happen because one of them might lose. But, you know, ultimately, I look forward to the fight. Ultimately, hopefully, I can attend the fight. And, um, like I said, Vegas Stadium is... It's great, you know, it's outdoors. I think it's outdoors still. I like to see might have a retractable roof because it's hot as hell. And hopefully no excuses. Hopefully we can put this to bed. Um if I to win, I guess Fury be asking for a four fight and maybe pushing for a four fight. Um I don't know if a four fight will be um in the cars, but really Wilder gotta understand. Do I come in at two thirty one or do I come in what's comfortable for me? And he put he put all the weight on, on his on his top half. He should have put his weight, most of the weight, all the weight on his bottom half, but Fury had a 42-pound weight advantage, you know, and ultimately that just became too much, man. But you know, I know Breland is probably thinking the back and say he should have just let them let him get his get, damn near get killed in that ring, and we wouldn't be talking about a rematch. We'd be talking about Wilder, you know, basically learn how to walk, eat again, and does he want to fight again, you know? So ultimately, I know they got to be going through Breland's mind, but you know, Breland enabled with going that towel and for him to have a, a rematch, because if somebody licked the blood off your fucking neck. You know, your eyes is, you know, dilated and shit, man. You don't deserve another fight, but um, you don't need to fight on, excuse me. But we'll see if Malik Scott can make the difference. This is going to be huge for him. If Wilder put off, Malik Scott is probably going to be the most in-demand trainer in boxing. Um, he be training the kids out there in California doing everything. So this can change everybody's life. And I hope the brother is able to change the life and be Tyson Fury and put it away for, and put this away forever, man. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Check the Heavyweight Boxing Playlist out. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out to the business question, car sponsorship, video plus, all my social media links description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. One time for the one time. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think about the video. Check out the Hitway Boxing playlist. Appreciate that love and support. Peace.